1 Samuel 3 1 Samuel 3 is the third chapter of the first book of Samuel in the Old Testament of the Christian Bible, or the first part of the books of Samuel in the Hebrew Bible. According to Jewish tradition, the book was attributed to the prophet Samuel, with additions by the prophets Gad and Nathan, but modern scholars view it as a composition of a number of independent texts of various ages from c. 630-540 BCE. This chapter focuses on the calling of Samuel in a section concerning the life of Samuel 1 Samuel 1, 1 7, 17. Text This chapter was originally written in the Hebrew language. It is divided into 21 verses. Textual Witnesses Some early manuscripts containing the text of this chapter in Hebrew are of the Masoretic text tradition which includes the Codex Cairnsis 895, Aleppo Codex 10th century, and Codex Leningradensis 1008. Fragments containing parts of this chapter in Hebrew were found among the Dead Sea Scrolls, including 4Q51, 4Q Sama, 150 BCE, with extant verses 1-4, 1821. Extant ancient manuscripts of a translation into Koine Greek known as the Septuagint originally was made in the last few centuries, B.C. include Codex Vaticanus B. G. E. Backslash Display Style Backslash Mathrac G. The 4th Century and Codex Alexandrinus A. G. E. Backslash Display Style Backslash Mathrac G. A. 5th Century. Old Testament References 1 Samuel 3, 3 Exodus 27, 20, 21, Leviticus 24, 2 4 Perpetual Lamp, 1 Samuel 3, 3 Exodus 25, 10 22 Ark of God, Ark of the Covenant, 1 Samuel 3, 3 Exodus 26, 34 Ark kept at worship center, ship center. Period, period. The event in this chapter happened at the end of Judges period in Israel about 1100 BC. Analysis Chapter 3 is tied in many ways to Chapter 2, with some terms and themes in Chapter 2, are repeated or recapitulated in Chapter 3, e, to 3, 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 3, 3, to 3, to 3, to 3. God calls Samuel 3, 1, 14. This section on Samuel's calling is often classified as a prophetic call narrative. In a period when divine visions were infrequent, Samuel received his call vision, which would shift the seat of power from Ili and his family. While Ili was still presiding for a short period, he instructed Samuel of the right words of response to God's calling, verses 9-10, but after Samuel received God's oracle, verses 11-14, Samuel became more powerful, than Ili before the eyes of the people. Verse 1 Now the boy Samuel was ministering to the Lord before Ili, and the word of the Lord was rare in those days. There was no vision coming forth. The boy from Hebrew Na'ar Na'ar, which refers to a boy from the age of infancy to adolescence. According to Josephus, Samuel was twelve years old at this time. Samuel shares his first vision 31521. Samuel's oracle of doom over Ili's house confirms the words of the man of God in 227 minus 36. The house of Ili will fall because of the iniquity of his sons and his own inability to admonish them. Ili accepted God's verdict verse 18 and that Samuel would become a powerful prophet whose words were fulfilled not only in Shiloh but throughout the land of Israel, verses 2021. 20, verse 20, And all Israel from Dan even to Beersheba knew that Samuel was established to be a prophet of the Lord. From Dan even to Beersheba, a phrase regularly used to denote the whole land of Israel, first mentioned in Judges 20, one then becoming common in the books of Samuel and only appearing once more after the division of the kingdoms, that is, after the fall of the Northern Kingdom to Chronicles 35, was established, can also be rendered as was confirmed, found faithful or approved, from Hebrew word, 
that in 1 Samuel 2.35 is rendered as a faithful priest, and a sure house, 